and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for a special donation deck that we have here today. We have the homage to Garrick. So Garrick was a planeswalker, if you don't know who that is, um, before, and uh, has had nine cards uh, so far with the name Garrick in the title. And of course, Garrick is not in standard right now. But we had a donation to build a deck kind of around uh, the the Garrick cards and just like, a, you know, try to make a Garrick deck in a standard. So I went to went over to look for all the cards that were uh, all the Garrick cards in standard and started reading them. And I, I kind of came up with with this deck here. So let's take a look at why. So we have I'm going to just kind of uh, show you some of these cards that are named Garrick. Let's see if I can, maybe I can minimize this window a little bit. Well, I guess I'll have to make it smaller over here. Um, so we have the Apex Predator is going to be our, our first one here. Um, so as you see here, Apex Predator says plus one destroy another target Planeswalker. And I was like, all right, if we're destroying Planeswalkers, and we have a Planeswalker that's destroying Planeswalkers, that sounds like Ugin to me, right? Like that's Ugin is just the, the Apex Predator of standard these days it destroys planeswalkers it makes some like cool creatures sure like these are three three uh with uh beast creature tokens with death touch but these are like two twos that get you card advantage and stuff so ugin was like was like the first card. I was like all right we're, we're putting ugin in our garrick deck and then uh collar of beasts um it says the plus one says reveal the top five cards of your library put all the creature cards revealed this way into your hand and I was like, oh, if we're, reveal if we're having like a, a tick up where we're putting a bunch of, or like taking a look at the top cards of our library and, and we're putting creatures into our hand, that sounds exactly like Vivian. So we got we got Vivian in here also. Um, our next next Garrick, the Primal Hunter, uh, just kind of puts some beast creature tokens onto the battlefield and draws cards. I don't really have anything for that one, to be honest. I mean, yeah. Kind of moving on, Garrick Relentless is a four mana uh, Garrick that uh, says zero. The zero ability is deal three damage to a creature, and then that creature deals damage equal to its power to Garrick Relentless. So it's it's a four mana removal spell, and four mana removal spell in standard. One that came to mind was Chupacabra because Chupacabra is not only that, but Chupacabra is also a beast. Perfect beast in a in a Garrick deck, that is perfect. So we got Chupacabra for our beast here. Um, Garrick's companion, two mana, three two. Uh, you know, if we want, if we want some three twos, Branch Walker, Jade Light Rangers, those are those are definitely three twos. Um, and I guess like how like these things were also like um, you know like draw cards, look look for creatures. All these things that was kind of reminding me of like explore stuff, you know, like drawing cards, looking for creatures. That's kind of like what the explore package is all about, and so that's kind of like what what the Garricks are all about, also. And then we had Garrick's Horde, um, seven mana, seven seven Trampler that says you play with the top card of your library revealed, and you can cast the top card of your library if it's a creature card. I was like, all right, well, if we're casting the top card of our library, that that does sound like Bolas Citadel in standard these days. So there we go. That's why we got Bolas of Citadel up in here. And uh, then, you know, our pack leader just also has, like, whenever you play big creatures, draw cards. Don't really have the thing for that. I mean, that would be Kiora, I guess. But then we had to play a bunch of big creatures also. Um, yeah, it didn't, didn't quite include that one. It's just a little pack leader. Um, and then, yeah, the Wild Speaker, the original Garrick, is about ramping, like, Land War Elves and putting beasts into play. A lot of putting beasts into play. And then, of course, we have In Garrick's Wake, which is trying to destroy all creatures and all planeswalkers you don't control. That card's pretty crazy. It's nine mana. Destroys everything. Um, that's like uh, kind of like my Elder Spells we got over here. Destroy all the planeswalkers. That's what we got these days. Uh, so, yeah. So, this is our this is our homage to Garrick. Um, I hope uh, Garrick would like this green black deck because that's what garrick has been garrick was started out as a green planeswalker and um the last couple of times we saw garrick transferred over to being green black also um i thought about having with with like the draw cards for playing stuff i thought about having one beast whisperer 
in here because you know beast whisperer is a beast and does draw cards when you play creatures so i thought that would kind of work pretty well but i think the beast whisperer may may not work well with the citadel and everything so i decided not to i would have cut one of the three vivians for a beast whisperer so that that was like the option there um so yeah so this is our this is our homage to garrick deck so let's let's give this a try we have a fun day today. Uh, you know, we got a few more days going here in War of the Spark standards. So we're kind of going back through some favorites. Uh, so we, we're going to uh, go ahead and play Dredge, Five Color Reborn, and Demir Tezzerator today also. Some some people's favorites, favorite decks from this format. All right, we'll head on over to the traditional constructed queue like we do for donation decks. And we got our homage to Garrick. Yeah, I can't. I can't wait for the next for whenever Garrett comes back. Cause yeah, Garrett's pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks, Cali Commuter. All right. Hey, Matthew. Yeah, looking forward to the set review. Yeah, the set review will be a lot of fun. So that's going to be on Friday. Is that just two days away? Is it Wednesday today? Yeah, it's Wednesday. So just two days away from our M20 set review that we'll be doing. Of course, that'll be going up on the YouTube channel as well. But starting that one two hours early. Usually I stream from 3 to 10 Eastern every day. Starting that one two hours early because we're going to be talking all about Corset 2020 there. Ooh, rooting for a mono black Garrick. Okay, no. No, no second black source. For Choop or Whisper here. Hey, Weighty Cakes. Welcome to the channel. Well, welcome back to the channel, I should say. Thank you so much for that continued support. I really do appreciate that. Fruger says Elspeth's coming back. Are you so sure about that? The Eros Underworld is based on Roman Greek myths of the dead are never real are really never dead. Yeah, I would be I would think that Elspeth will come back eventually also, but also don't know exactly when. I should put this down to 1080p there we go we'll have less lag problems it looks it looks a little blurrier on my side it looks really clean on the 1440 but um will be less lag problems overall Hey, J Jack. Hmm. Our phone's just chilling over there with the two lands that probably wanted to have more lands than that. Probably. Maybe I shouldn't even be keeping the Assassin's Trophy. It's just such a good card. Two mana instant speed removal.
I'll just attack. I'll let them kill the, the Jade Light Ranger. Mono blue means a bunch of duresses. We'll get some moment of cravings. Uh, an extra contempt, a trophy. Oh, I forgot to say that I have the Vraska in here because of um because of Garrick Relentless. Like the back part of Garrick Relentless makes one one death touch creatures, and this is a Vraska makes one one or like like the death touch creatures here also destroy planeswalkers and and uh, Garrick's all about destroying planeswalkers and everything. So yeah, we got this Vraska in here. Hopefully we get to kill some Teferis with some assassin creature tokens. Hmm. Hmm. Mine is fine. All right, so this is 65. Guess I'm taking out find the choop and two squires. Citadel is the kind of card that if we if we resolve it, it's just gonna you know Citadel just completely takes over. It is you know it does cost a whole lot of mana and everything, but the upside is just so so high that I don't really want to. Cut it. It's a little unfortunate. Both of our black sources coming into play tapped. So we didn't get to duress on turn one, but thankfully, no. Hmm. Thankfully, no um, curious obsession. All right, Prigor. Have a good time, and and yeah, we'll see you later. It's unfortunate. I'm a poor elf. So they got a Surge Mare and a Trickster. Oh no. That's really bad. Yeah, I was waiting on... I waited on Duress there... Uh, since they since they didn't have Curious Obsession, like they had the one mana open with Siren Storm Tamer, so like if I would have just thrown thrown the duress away, they would have probably just sacrificed the Siren Storm Tamer to counter the duress. Uh, I wanted to be able to to really double spell with the duress and like be able to play duress plus play something valuable in the same turn. Well, 
Well, second Storm Tamer means I'm not going to be able to kill the Terramander here. With the one... I was hoping they would tap low enough where I could do one Storm Tamer plus Vivian. Lost so much already. I won't balance comes. I was looking for Wild Growth Walker to maybe be able to um, have Wild Growth plus Jade Light. Yeah, I could I could minus and kill the Curious Obsession, but I think that we need to. Like, if I do that, then the, the two flyers just kill, you know, like, they kill the Vivian very easily, and I don't really have anything still, and, like, the, I don't know, I don't, I don't think we're, like, in that good of a spot, so I'm taking up looking for, like, Wild Growth Walker, Chupacabra can do a little bit here for us. Another trickster. That's not, yeah, we're not gonna be able to beat another trickster. Leo Jund with the Twitch Prime sub, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much. Our third sub of the day. Yeah, I like our chances on the on the play here a little bit more. Um, yeah, game didn't really work out for us with them having the entrancing melody for my elf, and then I had duress, and immediately, you know, I took like a, a crappy removal spell. This is the only card in hand, and then like their their next draw step, of course, is curious obsession. <clears throat> that was rough. That happens. No, Bronson on for Obsession is not really where you want to be. Having to spend four mana to destroy a one-man enchantment that's already drawn cards kind of thing. It's just not... It's not where you want to be. But you're welcome, Leo Jund. Or, or uh, Leo Yond, maybe. You're welcome very much. All right, Garrick, help us out here. We're going to need it. I think I want Duress on turn two for Curious Obsession.
don't honestly love where we're at here. You know, Storm Tamer can just counter the Duress. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's go ahead and, and branch walker first, so we have more information about what I want to do with this duress. I don't think I really want contempt. The Kasmina's transmutations just don't, they just don't do anything. They're just not scary at all. Ugh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> kind of wish I would have taken the essence capture. Cause, so this says the creatures lose all abilities and have base power toughness of 1-1. One, one. If you put that on either of these creatures, they they still have the counters, so like making a jade light a one one still makes it a three three. So like it just turns it into being a three three instead of a four three. Same thing. This would be a two two instead of a three two. So like these two cards, all they do is reduce one one power each on my creatures here. Leo Yan. Okay. Well, I probably won't remember that Leo Yan, but I'll try. Yeah, Leo's an easy one. I can see why people are saying that. Why people say Leo. The second one, Sly Guy. Yeah, wanted to make this deck because because uh, they like Garrick. Because Garrick is not coming back next set. But All right, so the transmutation though is good on the Doom Whisperer. Still playing it. So they have eight. Or sorry, sorry. So they have four. So four, eight. I definitely do not want to do this more than twice at the most. Jade Light's pretty good, so Jade Light will be a 4-3. That's also immune to, to that card. The trophy just kills the Casmuta the Kasmina's transmutation. Oh, right, I can't do this ability anymore. Mm. Yep, looks like I should have kept Trophy on top.
Yep, if I would have kept Trophy on top with them swinging out like that, yeah, I would have been able to destroy the enchantment and then kill them. But, you know, we couldn't quite predict that they were going to swing out on, like, swing all out. And I liked, I liked having another 4-3 here. Because I still don't think they can really do anything, right? Like, they didn't draw a counter spell, so I still get to just destroy the transmutation next turn. Well, they can't make that attack. They're just, they're just dead. Why would they make that attack? They're just dead on board. Like they're just actually just dead on board. You can only block two things. I have, I have four things. What are you doing? I don't think I'm missing anything here. Do they like expect me not to attack or something? Like, to be fair, they were losing that game, but... Probably shouldn't have done that attack. Alright, thank you, Garrick. Helping us out. Yeah, I like that. I like doubling up on the transmutation. Putting another transmutation on the Doom Whisperer. Just having two, two of those on the Doom Whisperer. Yeah, that that could have got them, that could have got them places, because then I can't just make it a six six trampler. Yeah, that was that was the line they needed to do. All right, we got our Apex Predator in our hand. I like it. Love. Turn three. Vivian. No. My my Vivian Collar of Beasts. Oh, they took the Ugin Apex Predator. Letting me have Vivian Collar of Beasts. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. I was really considering taking Wilden Cemetery here. Because, you know, a Wrath effect killing the Llanowar Elves. We're going to want some more land drops. Ha. I've seen worse. And the Wild Growth Walkers just aren't very good. Hey, dwarves. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Alright, Apex Predator down. Presence alone will guide you towards victory. All right, Apex Predator, too strong. So against Espa, let's bring in Elder Spell, Contempt, Command, Vraska Trophy, Duress. 
Lots of stuff. We'll, we'll cut. Oh, maybe, hmm. Maybe we're not. Uh, usually I'd want to cut Wild Growth Walker, but maybe we don't actually cut Wild Growth Walker in. I guess we'll cut one Wild Growth Walker in this matchup because of the Citadel. Get rid of the find. So this is 63. Hmm. No, squares are good. Okay, I have too many good cards. I'll take out one Elder Spell and one Trophy each. We have a good amount of removal, especially with the Contempts also. So I'll take out one of each of those, and then I'll take out one Command the Dreadhorde. Nah, I don't have any Vraska Golgari Queens in here. Ooh. We got Vraska Swarms Eminence. Love it. All right, let's take Thought Erasure. Or Narset. Hmm. Vraska the Veil Cursed. This is our Garrick the Veil Cursed in our deck. Boo. That was the point of my turn one to rest was to take the Thought Erasure. Oh, we got a bunch of lands. We're going to top deck well. That's what Garrick does. Top decks really well. It's going good, Paul and Crow. Going real good. All right, so this is hero, not control. So honestly, maybe the Swarm's Eminence isn't... Maybe this isn't for this matchup. With them just having, like, a bunch of 1-1 tokens we can't really get through. So I guess I'm going to be taking out the Swarm's Eminence. This might be a bad idea. Step aside or be crushed. Keep your friends close. Kill your enemies. Cool token, though. There goes nothing. So, do I want Chupacabra in here for hero? I can no longer stand by and watch. You need to slow down. All right, well, game one, we had, like, a really great hand. Game two, they had a really great hand. What? They just tucked the... Braska? Let's just kill you it? can't stop nature. Let's try this. Hold that thought. Ooh. 
Let's do this again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay. I want these land rolls back in on the play. I want this Elder Spell. I want this Fine Finality. I guess I'm taking out Trophy. And one Vivian and the Squires. Mm. I don't really want to play this card. I basically just want the finality for Hero whenever Hero goes crazy, but I don't really want it besides that. I have two Field of Ruins in the deck. We just have them both, both times. Are you kidding me? What is this? This is the kind of matchup that we just can't really go to five and realistically win. So I just gotta hope that I draw some lands. Okay. I'm glad my opponent has a blood fast because I'm not really scared of that card. Stand by and watch. No, I am not making this up as I go. Drawing our third Ugin? Come on. We don't need any more Apex Predators. Here we go. When he lands. Hey Narinen. And Zeet. Welcome. I think having two Field of Ruins in the deck is perfectly fine. I think that this is some really bad variance here. Well, that didn't pan out. Our opponent probably has two basics, probably have a swamp and, a, and an island. More like it. If you hurry, All right, well, they kept on top. Let's make them shuffle. I already have two Jade Lights gone, so I'll grab the Black Mana Source. Up for round two. 
Let's skip to the good part. I know my responsibility. I've got time. Rude. All right, so we don't really have anything going on, but we could draw like an elder spell, take out some planeswalkers. This is hardly my worst defeat. Hey, Doctor Dents, thank you so much for that sub there. All right, well, we've had we had two really bad hands there. <laughs> Just. A bunch of lands that didn't really play anything at game two, and then Mulligan and can't find lands game three. And my opponent had very good curves both of those games also, so those games were not very competitive. All right, well, this was very similar to our game one hand last time where we had turn three Vivian. Let's see if we get that again. Grow Spiral to go with Llanowar Elf. Is it Bant Ramp or is this just Simic Manipulation? Maybe this is just Nexus with Llanowar Elf. Like the phases of the moon. That card's like good. Waxes and wane. Seek and hey, WQ. Run. Gonna get more pressure out there Do not harm my instead of just playing the Vivian right now. Land drop's not bad, so now if we top deck any of our six mana spells, you know, like the Ugin or Citadel, we get to play those. Citadel, of course, would be our, our best draw. Yes, yeah, so this is a Simic Steel deck. Of this 
Behold, nature's true power. All right, looking for Doom Whisperer. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Hmm. Jade Light's not bad. Um. Field of Ruin's not so bad either. I think we take the Jade Light. Got to get the Tamiyo out of here. Can't let them just keep ticking up Tamiyo. So of course we are going to be chump blocking with this Llanowar Elf to keep our Vivian alive. Our time together is finished. I already have two Krasis in the graveyard. Two Krasis, two Tamiyo. Hopefully not another Krasis. Really hoping not another crisis. <laughs> yeah, reborn's really cool. Yeah, yeah, we did. We played uh, reborn over there in Mythic the the last time we played it and had a lot of success with it. I think we went. I think we went four one with it over in Mythic the last time we played. And yeah, I think I think the deck's strong. I like it. So we'll do that. These two kind of, like the spring summer sets, the seventh and eighth sets of standard are the <laughs> ones that come out like the that. fastest. As in like there's, you know, the, the War of the Spark standard season and then the core set 2020 standard season aren't too long comparatively. Meet my newest friend. Hmm. Chupacabra's good. But I also want to land. Because so I want to play Ugin kill Nissa. This is kind of tough. I do want the land. Yeah, I'll just take the land. <laughs> oh no. That's bad. No one knows. Yeah, I think we can I think we can if we rotate both to fairies this time, you'd you'd have to get rid of wilderness reclamation also. But I guess without maybe without Nexus, it's fine. No, it's probably still not. I think you're gonna have to get rid of that card. Dr. Dents is gifting out some subs. Wow, getting the hype in the channel. Thank you so much, Dr. Dents. Thank you very, very much. Give him out five subs, so that means we're at 10 on the day. Hitting that sub goal. Come to me. 
I want that citadel. Yeah, thank you so much, Dr. Dents. Um, everybody was getting all their the hype votes in the chat too. Awesome, love it. Secrets manifest before you. The wilds are my shield. So yeah, drawing Bolas of Citadel is really what we need to be doing. We have two of them in the deck. We know one's at the bottom now, so we just got to find the other one. I mean, they have the Vivian also, so like we we kind of have to go crazy with it the the one time. Uh, Doom Whisperer would be a good card to find too, but. Hit the, if you click on the smiley face, that's how you use emotes in the right hand part of the chat. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? You can't stop nature. Mm -hmm. All right, we found a citadel. AKA Garrick's Horde. But of course, both Vivian minus and Ugin minus takes care of it. Balance comes. So we're going to have to have a, a really good turn this next turn. Really want, like, if we, if it's like Doom Whisper underneath the, the Citadel. Like if we hit if we hit Doom Whisper off the Citadel, then we we can win. Then we, we probably just win on the spot, honestly. Wow, they're not killing my Vivian Reed? Hopefully no mass manipulation here. Please no mass manipulation. I mean then maybe their plan is just attacking. I guess. I guess I don't have the mana to cast Citadel and Doom Whisper, even with a land drop. We're one short, which is really unfortunate. So even if we'd have like Vivian tick up and find Doom Whisper, we couldn't play both. Uh, come on. That's a dumb card. That's so not fair. Is it better just to go finality? It won't kill three creatures there. If I find, I get back a branch walker though. I only have one finality in the deck, so I can't really get two. I think a better chance that I win the game is just going with the find. 
honestly. Give me a minute here, timer. I gotta find the other wild growth walker, of course. <sighs> Not dead yet. There's only one other wild growth walker, unfortunately. That second mass manipulation. If, if it, seriously, if it wasn't for that mass manipulation, I won this game crazy. Like, I would just be killing them this turn. I just can't, I just can't afford this much life. Just have to find Wild Growth Walker. Okay, there we go. And here we go. Now we're going, now we're going. Oh man, it's lagging too. Can we can we pull this off? I don't know if it, I don't know if we have enough permanents left in the deck, honestly. I'm at I'm at nine. I don't I don't have enough permanents left in the deck. Nope. I need to reshuffle the deck. Alright, we we ran out. I know I have like the other citadel at the bottom. We you know we need we need uh twenty total permanents. We had 13 there. Just ran out of gas. So close. So close. If, we, if it wasn't for that mass manipulation stealing those last permanents, we certainly killed our opponent that previous turn. I haven't done the math. Yeah, I wasn't. I I was worried about the timer, so I wasn't able to do the math of like exactly how much life I need by how many blockers they have. But I, or like how many blockers we need and stuff. I, I wasn't able to do that math. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, yeah, they just had another one of those. Yeah, so that's just gonna end it. Ran out of deck.
Mass Manipulation is a lame card. That card's really lame. I think I'm going to be taking out my Vivians, maybe my Ugans. Honestly, maybe I'll just take out my Planeswalkers so they can't steal them. Yeah, there is a green card that shuffles the library, but that's a, that's a really... That, that scenario doesn't happen very often what just happened right there and it's it's not really worth putting that card in the deck because it's such a weak card but it you know in very weird corner case scenarios like that it's awesome but usually you just have enough gas to kill them but once you know once they stole so much of my stuff twice with two mass manipulations um you know then i didn't really have enough that's not something that's going to happen all the time Unfortunate. You know, just thinking they would have Tamio, Nissa, manipulation, anything like that there, and just nope. Yeah, Pulse of Marasa would be good for this deck. The thing about taking out Vivians and Ugans is that I don't have very much top end. I should have put in the Command the Dread Hordes. I mean, even drawing a Command the Dread Hordes is not very good right now, but I think I should have, probably should have those in here. Saying their hand isn't very good isn't that's not true. I mean they have they have four cards. That looks like a pretty good hand. To me, I think their hand is very good. You know, fifth one. Yeah, Crisis is just awesome. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna need we're gonna need just, you know, draw a citadel. Or Doom Whisperer, because Doom Whisperer finds Citadel. Unfortunately, I had to take out the rest of my top end. Hey, Necrolepsy. Good afternoon.
This is just not fair. This is not fair. This is... We are just like the perfect matchup for a steel deck. This is just absolutely perfect for them. I don't even want to block. Yeah, I described everything at the beginning of the video, Necrolepsy. Well, just like the darkness stole Garrick from us. Our opponents stole all of our things. A fitting end to our homage to Garrick deck here. Of course, going farther into Citadel and playing all the Citadels, and you know, you know, you can we can make the deck better. Uh, you know, I think just like playing like the Golgari Citadel deck, for example, we played one um, probably about a week ago or so, and make it a better deck. But we went with the the card choices here for um, honoring Garrick and Garrick's other cards throughout, and that's why we got all these Ugins for the Apex Predators instead of the more Citadels. But, man, the steel effect, you know, was, was really, really rough against us. The manipulations and melodies. And then, of course, the, the Esper matchup just didn't have anything. Games two or three, our, we just didn't, our, our deck didn't perform well those two games. But there we go. That's our homage to Garrick. Hopefully we see you again soon, Garrick, and get you back here in Standard, where you deserve to be. So there we go. So thanks for that uh, donation deck there. And that's going to be it for our homage to Garrick. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if so, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And thank you very much for watching, and I will see you for another video.